y'all. I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out. Before I get going on our video, smash my like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Share the video. Turn on your notifications. And don't forget that I go live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. You can also catch us live every Sunday morning with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Please join the channel as a member. Drop super thanks on our videos and drop super chats when you come by the live streams to help the channel grow. Um, and don't forget about the TKO World Series of Debate Tournament that's going down starting Monday. We're giving away $850 to the winner. So uh, if you're in the debate tournament, man, be sure to check out the bracket, show up on time, and be ready to go. That's all I got for you. But let's get it cracking, man, and let's get into our video. And today, bro, Ryan Garcia is asking Derrick James to save his career. Can he do it? Can he save Ryan Garcia's career? Derek James is a hell of a trainer. The 2022 trainer of the year. Got a hell of a stable of fighters. and Frank Martin and Earl Spence Jr. And Jamel Charlo. And now you got Ryan Garcia. The only person that can help Ryan Garcia is himself because at some point you got to look in the mirror bro at some point you got to look in the mirror man you have to like it can't be Eddie Reynoso Joe Goosen and Derrick Jane like you are the common denominator bro <laughs> you the common denominator so I don't think it's a trainer issue with Ryan Garcia, I think it's a Ryan Garcia issue with Ryan Garcia. Are you going to be dedicated to the sport? How bad do you really want this? Are you willing to hone your skills? Or are you satisfied just getting by on what you already know? Because if it's the latter, if you just satisfied with what you got, bro, ain't nobody going to take, like... You got to understand the camp you coming into. They not finna waste their time with you, bro. If you ain't showing up, if you ain't putting in the work, if you ain't trying to make yourself better and shit, man, they ain't. Derrick James ain't finna waste his time with you when he can be training Earl Spence, man. He ain't about to be worried about your ass not showing up, missing your times and shit when he could be fucking with Jamel Charlo or Frank the Ghost Martin. See, I think Derrick James probably just need a sparring partner for Frank Martin or something. I don't know, bro. Or he just get into the bag with Ryan Garcia. Oh, and Derrick James got Anthony Joshua now, too. I forgot about him. Damn, my bad. So the, the, the level of fighters that he's going to be in there with are dogs. Or, or, or guys that are either champions or Frank Martin on his way to becoming a champion, potentially. And someone that works hard and is always dedicated to his craft. Now, will some of that rub off on Ryan Garcia? I don't know. We'll see. But people that's counting on Derrick James to just change Ryan Garcia or make Ryan Garcia somehow elite, his change going to come from right here and right here, bro. He got to want that shit. Like, what are you planning to do? Like, because Derrick James ain't going to come to L.A. You going to move here to the, to the D? You moving to Dallas? How serious you taking this shit? Or... You're going to train on your own, then get a, a, a fight announcer, then try to work with Derrick James for two months for a fight camp and think that that's going to do something. If I had any faith that Ryan Garcia would, you know, get on his Creed shit from the first Creed movie, how Creed moved to Philly and just stayed there and like, yo, I'm just training here with you, Rocky. If he were doing some shit like that, like, you know what? I'm leaving Cali. I'm leaving Cali. I'm moving to Dallas. What's happening? And he just at the gym, at the gym. Gonna be a gym rat. He there all the time. Then that's one thing, bro. And that's, you know, I'm with it. I'm 100% supportive of that. But I don't believe he gonna uproot his whole life, his whole Instagram shit, his whole Cali boy style shit and all that shit. I don't think he's leaving that shit to move her to the south, bro. 
and get some of that real work. You know what I mean? I don't think he doing that shit. And I think when he get in there with those guys, I don't think he gonna work like they work. I don't think he gonna train like they train. And they gonna smell it on him. Derrick James gonna smell it on him. I don't think it's gonna work out. Let y'all know that now. Maybe Ryan can get a few wins under Derrick James. But the moment he step up again, Derrick James gonna be frustrated as fuck in that corner. I'm telling you that shit right now. Ryan get him a couple of wins against some inferior opponents. People gonna start feeling Ryan again, jumping on him bandwagon and shit. You know what I mean? Then he gonna step back up, you know, fight some tough competition. He gonna get his ass whooped and Derrick James gonna be frustrated in the goddamn corner. How he was against, you know, how he was with Jamel Charlo in that first Brian Costano fight. <laughs> how he got with Jamel Charlo and fucking Tony Harrison and shit. Telling them all the right shit and Jamel just ain't listening. He just can't execute the game plan and Derrick James frustrated in the motherfucker. That's what he gonna be with Ryan when Ryan step up in competition. He'll 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 look good against some some subpar punch. Oh, Ryan done learned some shit. <laughs> Ryan doing some good shit, yeah, okay. Derrick James done bought Ryan back. Then the moment he step up, <laughs> the moment he get in there with somebody good, he gonna be, damn, Ryan, what happened? Derrick James gonna be telling him in the corner, you gotta do this, use your jab, use your limb. You're not using your jab. Throw the right hand behind the jab. When he do that, you gotta pivot around. Then you go boom, then you go boom. That's all you gotta do. He gonna be giving all them instructions. Ryan ain't gonna be following none of them, huh? So, you know, shout out to Derrick James for getting this bag. But if you Ryan Garcia, it can't be every trainer. It can't be every trainer fault. You got the Mexican style trainer Reynoso. Nah, that shit ain't work. You got Joe Goose and Cali Swag. You know, leather jacket, jean jacket Joe. Laid back, you know, classy Joe. That shit ain't work. <laughs> now you got Derrick James. It's you, bro. Until you change, I'ma say, this shit ain't gonna work either. But you know, get your bag, Derrick James, and do your best. But Ryan gonna let you down, cause he don't work like Earl work. He gonna let you down, cause he don't work like Jamel work. He gonna let you down, cause he don't work like Frank Martin. He'll make, like Frank work. He'll make a good, he'll make a good sparring partner for Frank Martin, though. Make good spawn partner for Frank Martin. Like, shit, use Ryan to get Frank Martin ready for a big fight. I don't know. <laughs> That's his best bet, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Comment below, smash the like, sub to the channel, share the video. Turn on your notifications. Don't forget I go live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. And I'm also live every Sunday morning with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network. Appreciate y'all watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out of here. Peace out, y'all.